Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We've got another unboxing of something that looks really cool. Uh, every couple of weeks I get these random packages in the mail from Retro Flag, and this is their latest creation here. Uh, this is what appears to be a Sega Genesis case for a Raspberry Pi. Uh, we have saw their NES and Super NES cases a few months ago, and it looks like now they're starting to give the Genesis some love. And we're going to unbox it now and see what this thing is all about. Uh, what it's got is a functional power switch and a functional reset button. And if you want to see how these work, I did a full review of the SNES case a few weeks ago. This is going to uh, be set up exactly the same way. So we'll just take a look and see what this uh, Genesis version looks like. Let's peel off the little sticker here. And here you go. This is really cool looking. They make some nice stuff, and I really, I really like the way this looks. Now, I'm a big fan of the Sega Genesis, uh, and this really does look pretty cool. Now, some of you may know this as the Mega Drive. Um, so what it's got here is an on-off switch and a power button. Again, this will work the same way the other ones do. Uh, and then you also have uh, an, a non-functional volume control here, but that pops up the lid, and you can store your SD cards or whatever else you want to store in here. So that's pretty neat. Let's take a look inside and see what we've got now in here. Oh, and I almost forgot if you want to get access to the Ethernet port, there's a portion here at the bottom that pops off, and the Ethernet jack is accessible inside of there. So there is a piece that can be lost, but if you're not using Ethernet, you can just leave this attached all the time. Now, inside the case, you get a screwdriver with some screws for getting everything put together. Uh, there's also a board here that has a lot of stuff to look at. Now, we talked about this in our review of their SNES case. So again, check out that video because it performs exactly the same. Uh, what you have here is a safe shutdown switch. So when this is switched on, a script will execute when you fire the power switch over here to off. What it will do is run that script that you install on your Raspberry Pi, and it will shut down the device properly. If this is set to off, safe shutdown off, and you turn on or off the device, it'll just cut power to it right away. Uh, likewise, the reset button here will also execute a script uh, when you have that uh, button switched on there. They did make an improvement here in, as to where the fan goes on this. Now, the other case supported a fan, but uh, it had some issues for folks because it wasn't uh, mounted in the right spot. It wasn't above the processor. Uh, this one seems to be improved. Now, the Raspberry Pi mounts upside down this time, which might be a little bit of a challenge getting uh, this cable connected to the GPIO pins. So what you have to do is connect uh, this cable here up to, I believe, this last set of pins like this. And then you put the entire thing back together. So you have to kind of work that cable a little bit to get it uh, in place. I'm just going to disconnect it real quick just to show you how it mounts in. Uh, and then you can screw down the Raspberry Pi on these four screws here. You also need to connect up these two USB connectors to get those two front ports working. So it's going to be a little bit of a wrestling match initially to get everything uh, connected properly and seated. But once in there, you can see all the ports line up properly, and you've got this little Raspberry Pi in here. And now, if you look closely, uh, the processor is pretty much hanging out right by the vent, so it should uh, be able to draw air away uh, from the Raspberry Pi a little better perhaps than some of their other cases did. So it looks like they've made some improvements here as to uh, how the Pi mounts up. So that was good to see there. Very cool. And then, of course, you put the whole thing back together and you got yourself a little mini Sega Genesis, which is pretty neat. Now, they also, though, sent over something else, which is this controller. And by the way, they sent this to the channel free of charge, but I have never had any contact with this company whatsoever. This stuff just started, started showing up a few months ago, and every time they have something new, they send it to me, and it's really cool stuff. So all the opinions you're hearing are my own, and they are not paying for this unboxing here. Uh, so here's the controller. It actually feels pretty close to a Sega six-button controller. The D-pad here is very loose, as you can see. Uh, maybe I should do a more full review of this one. Uh, we're going to see a lot more of these replica uh, controllers coming out soon. There's a big Sega Genesis uh, craze going on right now, so I have a feeling this is not the last of these that we'll look at. But this looks pretty good. I should probably maybe do a more full review of this thing and see how it compares to the original. I don't think I have an original six-button controller to compare it to, uh, so maybe I should get one and give it, a, give it a test here. So that's what it looks like. It feels pretty good. Got the two shoulder buttons there as well. This is not a wireless controller. It connects up via USB, so I'd imagine it will be compatible with your PC as well. So really cool stuff. If you want to see more on the controller, uh, let me know, and I will take a look at it. But I don't have a real six button to compare it to, so I need to get one of those first to make a proper 
a review of it, but this is also something they're offering. So the Sega Genesis kit here uh, is $25 on Amazon right now. I'm not sure what the controller costs, but I would imagine it's probably about the same. Actually, no, it looks like the controller is $14.99 on Amazon. So $25 bucks for the case, another $15 bucks for the controller. Not a bad deal for a little project to convert your Sega or your <laughs> Raspberry Pi into a mini Sega Genesis. Cool stuff. And let me know if you want to see more in the comments below. Until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.tv supporters including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Gerard Newberg, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.